This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the FA18C Hornet. It's February 2021. The way the AGM65E laser guided Maverick works in DCS has changed. We can have the missiles on pylons 2, 3, 7 and 8 with a total of 4. And if we want to self designate, we'll need a lightning teapod on the aircraft too. We're in the air now, there's a target in front of us. There are two ways now of using this weapon, automatic lasing mode and manual lasing mode. Let's have a look at today's controls. To fire the weapon, push and hold, weapon release button. To fire the laser manually, gun trigger second detent. To slew the teapot, obviously, TDC up, down, left and right to create a target point. TDC depress to assign the TDC or soy to the left screen, SCS left to the right screen, right, right, we'll also change track types on the teapot as we'll see. So, automatic mode, air to ground mode on, master arm to arm, ensure our flare is on and it is, turn our LTD, arm our laser basically, with that guy there. First we'll find the target, right DDI, main menu, flare. Assign TDC to the right DDI, SCS, right. And we're going to use our TDC Slukies to find the bad guy. There he is. I'm going to get a point track. I've specifically got a moving target here to show it because it's of interest here. So, IR mode there. Zoom in. Place the cursor in front of him. SCS right once and twice to create a point track which is going to be needed for the moving target. Next, we're going to press TDC depress to create the target point. Ping. Now we've got a target point 3.7 nautical miles away. What we're going to do next is set the weapon up. I mean, we would have actually set the weapon up a long time before this, but just showing you for this video. So, on our SMS page, we're going to click on our MAV there. We need to set the laser code to match the laser code here. So, what we can do is UFC code 1688, enter both, and I'll set to 1688. This code is no longer flashing which means that the code matches the weapon. Next, click the weapon again, there. We can see that the current seeker head of the selected weapon, which is station seven, is centered in the center here and it is caged. So it's non-active at the moment and our laser code is 1688. What we're gonna do now is press SCS left once to assign TDC to this screen and watch what happens. It's automatically uncaged the weapon and slewed the seeker head, shown as this cross, to our target position, which is about there. The diamond is our target position, and the triangle is the position of our seeker head, which is currently slaved to the same place. Now, if we press and hold the weapon release button, what that will do is first automatically laze the target at PRF 1688, then it will slew the Maverick Seeker to the active target, and still while pressing it, it will fire the weapon. So watch this. Press automatic lasing, move the seeker head and the weapon's fired. And I don't need to do anything now, it's all automatic in terms of uh, the lasing. This is a really cool new feature. Ping. Now, give it a few seconds and the lasing will stop automatically. So that's just, I'm not holding the trigger anymore. So I'm not holding the weapon release anymore, by the way. I, uh, as soon as the missile fired, I released that button. It stopped flashing now, and we're good to re-engage. Note, to re-engage, I will need to re-arm the laser. It de-arms itself after each shot. So re-arm the laser. This time, we'll fire manually. So um, that's SCS right to assign TDC to our right DDI. Let's just find a new target somewhere. I'm going to SCS right again to get out of point track and just to operational. We're out of point track now. We can track another target. Uh, you know, to be honest, we'll just shoot the guy again, even though I should have put another tank in. What we'll do now is SCS right to create an area track. We'll then press TDC depress to create a target. New target created there. This time we'll laze manually by boxing that trigger there. To laze manually, press and hold the trigger second detent button. And you can see it's lazing there. Release, and it's released. Do it again, and it's uh, lazing again. Now you can see 
the, the Maverick has locked itself because we left it essentially uncaged on the left screen. Let's just pretend that it wasn't uncaged. So let's go SCS left. Let's recage it. I just want to show you all the possible options. Recage it there. Now we're going to SCS right back to this screen. We're going to uh, uh, laser again by pressing and holding the trigger. Now note that it hasn't locked this time because we've left it in a caged configuration. Let's go SCS left now to assign our TDC to the left screen. Now we're going to push cage on cage button. The uncage it and now it's gone and uh, selected the target. Still while pressing the trigger down for laze I'm going to press and hold the weapon release. Now let go of the weapon release and I'm just pushing and holding the laser, uh, the trigger for the laser and it's a little bit difficult but now if I release the trigger for the laser at any point then this missile will just spoon off somewhere it won't track so I'm still holding the trigger still holding the trigger and that's hit still lazing and let go of the trigger we've stopped lazing so I know that was a bit awkward the way I showed it but I wanted to show all the different possible options that's all I've got to show on the AGM 65E February 2021 I hope that was useful and see you later